Hey everybody, it is early for me. I'm annoyed and I don't want to deal with today. So we're going to the beach. So let's get the fuck out of here. Rocking them tables. Okay, basically what I've been doing is I've been trying to wait until the temperature gets into the fucking 70s to go to the beach. Because there's nothing worse than going to the beach thinking you're going to have a nice day and it'd be cold as shit. So I've been following the weather for Santa Monica every day. And it keeps getting fucking colder. It's like... It'll be like, oh, in three days, it'll get to 72. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. And then the next day comes around, and now it's like six days out. And so now, the 10-day forecast um, has nine days of it being in the mid-60s. And so I'm just like, fuck it. Like, I am just, I'm just going to go and deal with it. Piano road blues, dance holes in my shoes. So yeah, so we're going to the batch. We're going to the batch. And I'm hoping that going down to the beach will give me a little recharge that I desperately need. So right now, we're actually not going where we're supposed to be going. You know what? I could probably just jam down the hall once it gets in the tent. I'm going to do that. I, doing this, like, diet exercise regime, um, I didn't eat last night. I did not have dinner. And, um, I didn't really have lunch. Around 3 o'clock in the morning, I had the biggest craving for eggs that I, I just didn't know what to do. All I wanted to do was eat some fucking eggs. And I'm like, I'm not going to eat. I'm not going to eat. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. And then I didn't get to bed until almost 5. Because I just couldn't sleep. Which is weird. Because I can sleep. Because all I want to do is sleep right now. But I kept like waking right back up. So I will, when I'm like, okay, I'm going to go to the beach tomorrow. I'm like, okay, I'm just going to go and get um, McDonald's and have, like, breakfast in the morning or whatever. Well, like clockwork, I woke up too late. Let me get uh, two of the sausage, egg, and cheese biscuits, a medium fr uh, french fry. I knew I wasn't going to make it to fucking McDonald's in time. I'm like, I'll go to Jack in the Box because Jack in the Box serves breakfast all day. Like, every fucking place should. And um, I could get Del Taco's breakfast, but that's too far in the opposite direction. And I actually prefer it. Okay, and if you know how we do things on Vermont, when we leave Jack in the Box, we drive on the sidewalk in the opposite direction of oncoming traffic. I mean, that doesn't make any sense, does it? Okay, we did it. Piano road blue, dance hoes in my shoes. I actually haven't listened to that song in a really long time. And I don't know why it's been playing in my head. I don't I don't understand. So I do need to stop and get cigarettes. Oh, they're making chilaquiles and carnitas. Oh shit. I wish people who did that kind of shit were there all the time. Instead of like popping up like once whenever the fuck they fall like it. Because when I see one of those places, I usually just ate or just got food. And I would like to stop, but I'm like, dude, I just, uh. And so then I go back a couple days later and they're not there. We're just gonna take Vermont down to the 10 instead of going over to downtown to get on the 110. And I need to find a 7-Eleven or a gas station or something. I had a really weird dream that I would like to share with you guys. I was doing like 
classes, like workshops, like the mentorship shit, like in person. And I was at some event, and um, I don't know if you know who this person is, but it's so funny how people just show up in your dreams that you have like no idea, like you've never talked to them in real life or anything like that. But um, uh, Lucille Morningstar, I don't know if you know who that is. What the fuck are you doing, bro? Um, she was in my dream as somebody who was taking a workshop. And her and two other girls... Oh, here's a gas station. Let's run in here. They said something to me that bothered the shit out of me. And I will tell you when I get back. Dude, I'm not gonna race you, bro. Are you fucking with me right now? I'm in a fucking element, dude. I, like, leaned up a little bit in the truck next to me, like, sort of... And, like, and I'm like, oh, come on, bro. Okay, so my dream... So the girls said, what's wrong with you? You've changed. And I said, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm like, this is the same crap I like go over, you know, everything's fine. And they said, no, in your eyes, it's like you're dead or something. And I can't remember exactly what they said. But that fucked me up in my dream so bad. I started, like, totally spiraling. So, um, Lucille Morningstar, um, who I follow on Instagram, the reading of Vitch, if you watch this, um, thank you for scaring me straight. But at the same time, if you're gonna show up in my dreams, like, I don't know, I'd rather you not, like, tell me what's what. <laughs> like, do, do what normal people do with people's dreams, for fuck's sake. Jesus. Ugh. Anyway. Other fun facts, for those of you who are interested in fun facts. The historic Route 66 that runs from Chicago, Illinois, ends like into the Santa Monica Pier, which is where we're going right now. So for any of you who are into Route 66 and like old rock and roll and um, I don't know, knickknacks from roadside diners and shit like that, um, I'm going to the end of the road right now. Let's get on Route 66 West. The 10 West. Being a road blues, dying souls in my shoes. There weren't another other way to be. Motherfucker, I was down at Green Gables, a hockey them tables, and gently blowing all of my. And then um, was like recording me doing a version of it. 
but it's so funny because like I mean I punch you in a second and it's just me. But um, it's just like something so minuscule, like me just remembering that there was a video with some kid on it turned into like four hours of me trying to remember who he was, doing the thing, looking that up, looking this up, looking this up. Like doing all this shit. It just, uh, man. Like once you get something going, I guess that's like an ADHD thing. I don't fucking know. Maybe it's, uh, maybe it's an OCD thing. Thank you for sunshine. Thank you for rain. Thank you for joy. Thank you for pain. It's a beautiful day. Yeah, 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 there's the match, there's the match, guys, there's the match. 